Hey guys, I'm Drew, the Helium Noob. Thank you for watching my videos. Today I take a break from my installation videos to go over understanding DBI loss and how to calculate it. Before I jump in, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the alerts. That way you can get all of my content as I release it. I have a lot of good information and links posted up on my website at heliumnoob.com. So go ahead and check that out. Please show your support through using my affiliate links, and if you like my content, please consider donating to my channel through the link in about my channel. I greatly appreciate it. So let's go, noobs. So understanding DBI signal loss. So basically what I, what I have is I have the rack wireless 8 DBI fiberglass antenna. Um, again, if you've seen some of my other videos, I've actually got this installed on the house already. But basically what I wanted to do today is break down that DBI signal loss and kind of show you guys how to calculate it. Now keep in mind, I am by no means an expert or a scientist when it comes to this. I mean, there is science behind it. Um, I just know some tools that I use to go ahead and, and get this figured out. And I'm going to try to put this kind of in layman's terms. Um, that way, you know, we just all can understand it. Um, so basically, again, you got the ATBI fiberglass antenna. We got, uh, I have the Rack Wireless Hotspot Miner V2. And let's take a look at what final signal expected is. So basically what we're doing is we're taking our beginning DBI, and we're going to subtract the signal loss, and that's going to tell us what we can expect as far as uh, the DBI out of the antenna and the signal strength. Um, in order to calculate the signal loss, we need to calculate, or excuse me, we need three inputs. The first input is going to be the cable type, so the actual type of cable that you're running from the antenna to the miner. Next, you're going to need to know the frequency. Now, in the United States, it's 915. Depending on which country you're in, it could differ, so keep that in mind when you're doing your own calculations. And the third input that we're going to need is the run length. So again, the length between the antenna and the miner. So what I want to do is just kind of take you through how we're going to calculate this. And I'm going to do three different examples just to kind of give you guys an idea. So the first thing we're going to do is a 10-foot run. Then we're going to look at a 20-foot run. And then we're going to look at a 40-foot run. Now, when I'm doing my setup, I'm actually about 7 foot uh, running to an outdoor enclosure. And my other option was running at about 43 feet into the actual house. Um, so I just kind of wanted to give you guys some just basis points. That way you can see how this is all calculated. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to actually jump over to my website. So if you go over to the website, uh, you know, open up a browser, type in www.heliumnew.com, hit enter, and this is my website here. So uh, basically what we're going to do is under step one, there's a button called cable loss calculator. So let's click on that. And that's going to take you over to a Times Microwave uh, calculator. Um, again, there's a lot of technical information on here. This is more of just a basic, hey, this is, this is kind of the, the philosophy behind it. And this is kind of what led me to my decisions. Uh, that way you can apply it as well. Um, so don't get caught up too much in all the uh, uh, different technical terms and everything. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to select our cable. So mine is an LMR 400. So depending on what you're running, go ahead and pick your cable. Um, so LMR 400. Uh, again, the frequency in the United States is 915. And our first example is going to be a 10-foot run. So let's do a 10-foot run. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the Calculate button. Okay. And that actually shows us a 0.5 dB loss. Um, so that's how you calculate it. Um, again, you're not actually doing the calculation, um, but this is kind of the cheating way to do it. Um, so quick and, quick and easy, the 0.5 dB. So now let's do our second example, which would be a 20-foot run, hit calculate, and it changes to 0.9 dB. And then let's do our final example at 40 feet and calculate that. And now we're at 1.8. So we take these calculations. Let's throw them back on our, um, let's go back to our PowerPoint here real quick. So again, we got 10-foot, 20-foot, 40-foot. 
We'll hit next. So now how do we get our final expected signal? So again, you gotta remember that it's the 8 dBi is what you start with. Subtract this is what your um, final expected signal should be. Um, so if we do the math here, uh, let's just put them all in at once. So on a 10 foot run, um, you're actually running at about, about 7.5 dBi. On a 20 foot run, you're about 7.1. And on a 40 foot run, you're at 6.2. So again, you'll hear me mention in my videos about cable loss and keeping this uh, signal loss and keeping this in mind. Um, so you can see the larger that your run goes, the more you lose. And again, at one point, you might be shooting yourself in the foot, spending the money on getting an 8 dBi when you have to run it. And now you're at 6.2, say. So this is a big reason why I decided to do an outdoor enclosure um, with power over ethernet. Um, I got some more videos coming showing me how to show you guys how to do that. Um, but that's why I decided to do that. That way I'm running an ethernet core outside instead of running a massively long um, antenna cable into the house. Um, so once again, if you want to uh, go ahead and utilize the tools on my website, go to www.heliumnoob.com. Step one, pick your location, click cable loss calculator. And that's just a quick rundown on how to actually calculate the signal loss and kind of what it means to you and your setup. So I hope you guys are able to use that and uh, to help you determine uh, your runs and in which way you want to do your setup. Once again, I'm Drew with Helium Noob. Thank you guys for watching. And please don't forget to go ahead and subscribe when you get to my YouTube channel. We'll catch you on the next one.